So this is my Hot Wheels wall right here, and I also have my 1 32nd scale slot cars. We'll start with the Hot Wheels. I generally say Hot Wheels when I'm talking about 164th die cast, just because kind of like a, when you call any facial tissue a Kleenex. <laughs> But anyway, I'm, I'm not going to explain them car by car. I'm just going to go through and kind of put out there what the, the mood of the day is. Maybe I'll pull them out one at a time and make videos about them in the near future. I got myself a cyber truck. I don't know how rare that is, but I've only ever seen one. Found it at Walmart. Grabbed it. Hunted through the whole freaking dump bin. And never found another one. Yeah. And that was a Christmas. You can see I got a number of the... Uh, cars that are uh, from movies and shows and things like that, including Cruella DeVille's car, and got two different versions of the Batmobile, Blues Brothers, Ghostbusters, things like that. It's just going to be a quick video, just to get something posted. And then we'll see what the mood brings. I love that red pig car. So what comes next? I do plan on building a track in the garage once I get a tool shed built to hold all the stuff that's in there, all the lawn stuff and the bicycles and all that. I'm going to build a shed to get that stuff out of the garage and use that area to build a 1 32nd scale slot car track. But for now, all my scale electric stuff is in a box. Some people say the Carrera track is better. I'm going analog. I don't think it really matters that much. Got a nice little mix of some mundane shelf mainline kind of cars and some treasure hunts and some limited editions and a couple of them that I've kind of thrown in there from other brands. A couple of them that I've customized like this fake stainless steel DeLorean. I don't like the painted ones. I want it to look like raw metal, so I did that with some steel wool. Swap the wheels over. I love that little mail truck. Yeah, we got. I try not to repeat too much, and it's really rough on the. I got two cases of cars that are like the more modern you know, found within the last 10 years or so. Some of them are a little older than that. And then I've got a case of uh, older ones hanging on the wall. I say case, I mean display shelf or whatever you want to call it. A little Airstream trailer, I love that. Mm -hmm. Subaru, I love that. Studebaker truck. And Deadpool is facing the other way because Deadpool. <laughs> Both the fact that the, the figure is on the wrong side to display it, facing the same way as all the other cars, and because it just seems apropos that Deadpool would park his car the wrong way. Hey look, here's the Pizza Planet truck, and now we can add that to all the Pixar movies it appears in. Still think that's the only casting of that vector that's ever been made by Hot Wheels. All right, on to the old stuff. We got some red lines up here. Now, I'm not getting enough light on this, there we go. Just using my phone to record right now. Didn't even break out the camera because this was kind of a spur of the moment idea. I don't have a goal with what I collect. I just kind of buy what I like. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a mishmash here. If I like it and it's good condition, <laughs> me make sentence well. I even said well instead of good. I should have said good. I, I blew up trying to screw up. Oh, I almost went too fast. Concentrate. Anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, if I like it and it's in relatively good condition, it's going in my case. But with the newer ones, like when I get a new one, since it's a full case, I have to sit and pick the one that I don't want in the case anymore and pull it out and that, that can be tricky sometimes. I also have a bunch of cars, modern ones, 
in the garage in storage tubs. I'll probably be weaning those down soon via the eBay's. And the bottom half of this older rack is my Sizzlers collection or part of it. I have some duplicates and some other, I keep overshooting other Sizzlers that um, aren't as nice that are in boxes. But all of these are in pretty good condition and they, uh, they run. So there's something special there. A couple of the Italians. Those, uh, feel lucky to get also the night riding ones. Got the whole set of night riding ones. And on to the slot cars. I've got some scale electrics, some fly, some slot it, some, I don't know, auto art. I, I don't know the brand. Monogram, Ravel. I don't know the brands of, of each one. I just, if I like the car, I buy it. And that's about it. That's, that's the rule. Oh, I got a little model up here that when I build the track, it's going to go in the parking lot. So these first ones are mostly European models. Love the Alphas. Back in uh, the early part of this century, <laughs> back in the aughts, I uh, used to get on eBay and lowball bid on Alfa Romeos. You know, like if I could get one really cheap, it would be worth trying to fix up, which was kind of a screwball fantasy, but I always got outbid, so it wasn't wasn't such a big deal. This yellow Porsche, you notice, uh, doesn't have any livery on it. I, I'm working on that. I'm not gonna leave it bare. This one doesn't have a driver. I have a driver on the way for him. This this came this way as like a special edition piece. They also make one that has a driver, but I'm gonna cut up a driver and stick it in there so that I don't mess up the piece and use like some rubbery glue to hold it in so that I have a driver so I can run on the track. I'm not one of those buy it and don't use it kind of people, so all of these will see some track time. Love these cheetahs. We're getting now, of course, into the more American cars, some of them. Well, I say that just as I see an Austin Healy and Ferraris, but we will be getting to some American cars. I said that because I saw the cheetahs and the, and the Fords. But here's my NASCAR stuff. You can tell I tend to like the older style cars, the vintage cars. That uh, Datsun in the background, that's a, that's a future project. Got some Trans Am series stuff here. <clears throat> and more Trans Am stuff. More Trans Am stuff and SCCA stuff. And then on the very bottom, I have the vintage stuff. Mm, AMT Avanti there. Most of these are Aurora. When I was a kid, my dad had a slot car set and it was Aurora, and I remember those from being a kid. So I, I'm trying to be a completionist when it comes to this stuff. I don't have the Mercury, which I don't even really like that much. Probably why I don't have it, because I refuse to pay the crazy prices that the Mercury Comet brings. That Barracuda and that Corvair, as far as I know, only come in that color. If the Corvair comes in another color, let me know in the comments. I have not seen it. I do want to get the other colors of the Avanti. I have a red one that's an unbuilt kit in the box, so it's not on the shelf. And when I was a kid, my dad gave me a kit for a black one that I was too young to do anything about, and I don't know what happened to it, but if I can find a black one, I will buy that as well. But anyway, so there we have it. That's, that's my stuff that's on the shelf. And um, hope you have a good day. Happy collecting. I don't know how to close this out. And see you later, I guess. Bye.